BlueStacks is one of the programs that gave me the biggest performance issue in my entire life. I mean, running BlueStacks was like having a Windows XP single Celeron core computer again with no graphics card or anything. I mean, opening Clash of Clans, the people were lagging. I was just like, what is this? So before I continue, I just want to tell you guys that do not know what BlueStacks is. It is technically a program that runs on your computer that allows you to have mobile programs and apps or games or whatever on it. As you guys can see, I've got PUBG Mobile, Free Fire, and whatever. As you guys can see, there's Google Play. So you definitely like literally go into Google Play and you go and download it. So you're going to have like Clash of Clans or literally, literally anything you want which you can get on your phone. So today I'm going to tell you guys how to fix the performance related problems of this. I mean, it is so horrible. There is four ways to fix it. I was very fortunate enough to have it fixed after the first way and it's probably going to fix uh, your problem as well depending on the computer and everything so we're going to jump straight into it so you guys go to the gear which is known as settings obviously you go under settings again so for the display I tried to drop the resolution and the DPI to 160 DPI it was still terrible guys I mean like literally literally terrible so after, afterwards I fixed it, I put everything back where it was and it was fine. So again guys can just leave it wherever it is or just put it on your normal resolution and DPI at max. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to engine. So I'm quickly going to change everything. Direct X, um, cores 1, memory all the way down and the frames per second I think was on 30. So this is what you guys got to do. The thing that I think killed me personally the most is because it was clicked on DirectX. You guys do not want it to be clicked on DirectX. Always take the second one. I think OpenGL uh, has to do with the NVIDIA and also if you got an AMD it will say something related to AMD. So make sure it is just not on DirectX guys. Then you gotta go to your CPU cores. Make sure it is on how much cores yours have. I know for a fact mine has four. It might have six because it gives me the option for six. So I'm a bit confused. I gotta go do research on it. But I've got an i5 H Gen um, CPU. So just make sure it's on how many cores it has. Four cores. The memory you can turn all the way up. I mean, like, it goes up until four gig. I've got eight gig RAM, so I don't see a problem with it having four gig. Or well be able to use up until 4 gigs so just drop it all the way if you want to they say recommended is 1800 all up to you once again and then for your friends per second mine wasn't 30 i tried to drop it to like 20 or something the game was still lagging but after i literally just changed the cpu put the memory up put it on open gl it literally literally worked so what you gotta do is is you can say restart now so I'm not going to say restart, I mean everything is already at max and as I want it to be, so I might as well just close it. So that's the first way how to fix it, and I probably, probably promise you guys that after fixing it this way, it should be fine. So let's go to the second step. So after you went to test it out now, and it's still not working, you guys got to do this. Right click, go to your task manager, and then obviously BlueStacks is running, it should run. You go to details. Blue stacks, you right click, set priority, make sure it's above normal. Do not go too high or real time or whatever the case is. If you guys take it up too high, it's going to interfere with all the prog uh, programs sorry, for that's like running in the background. So let's say for example, example you're running Streamlabs, you want to record it. If you're going to set it on high or real time, it's going to influence your performance of your Streamlabs. Like this is really serious. So just put it above normal. Alright, so that is the second step. You're going to go and test it out again. If it is still not working, it's probably the third step, which is your antivirus. If you have got AFG, AVOS, and all of those things, Kaspersky, and you guys know what you got, you, then you guys gotta go right click on it and disable it for a little while, maybe for an hour, or just, just the idea to disable it for the time frame you're playing. Do not go disable permanently, it's not recommended. Uh, maybe say until the computer is restarted, I mean, like that, that is fair enough. So you just go and disable it. But for the AVOS users, I'm going to show you guys that there's actually an option inside you got to fix. So you're just going to go click on AVOS, you're going to go up to menu, settings, just stay under the general tab, go all the way down to troubleshooting. So here it is, enable hardware assisted visualization. Make sure it is ticked. Guys, if this is not tick, your uh, your antivirus is going to interfere, so then uh, you're going to have to tick it or disable it. So yes, that is the third step, what you got to do. So for the fourth step, actually go on your browser, go on your drivers, like I've got an NVIDIA 1060 OC, so then I've got to go and just make sure I've got the correct 
drivers for it so this is probably gonna be your last resort make sure your drivers is up to date if it's not up to date do download a new one do install it but I mean by following these four steps I can almost guarantee you it's gonna work if your computer is not a 2000 year model Windows XP computer probably but for me it worked after the first shot like after working just on the program setting inside but I just thought to do a little bit more research to help you guys out a little bit but for now I think we covered everything guys I mean like Blue stack should be working as it should, it will be smooth as it can be, you guys will go and have a blast now, have a great session guys, please do not forget to drop a like and subscribe, but for now, cheers everyone.